to Double O Heaven now. I do apologise, it's been a while. Uh, with work and having a new kitchen fit, it's been one of them really hectic weeks. But within all that, I've still managed to go out and get a couple of bargains and do a little bit to the layout as well. So what I'll do first, I'll take you through some of the bargains that I've got. Now, if you're into populating your layout, what I'll admit right now is I had to change my arrow. I wanted to go for World War One, but all my trains are after that era. So I've had to change that. I've gone for World War Two. So the first thing I picked up was um, some of these guys. Now these are World War Two in British infantry, and the price of them was nice. Look, what was it? Five pound and five pence. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. So um, I'll show you what I've done with them in the meantime. Um, I've, I've done a little bit with them, but these come unpainted, like this. And I'll have a video coming out later, which will show you how you can paint the population for your layout as well. But, uh, I'll show you what I've done with these in a bit. And uh, another little bargain that I've managed to get was um, this was this was actually in. Um, an independent retailer, uh, the one I'll show you in the other video, and this is a part bag of lichen, so you know, if you're making your own bushes and stuff like that, and just check the price of that, £3.50, yeah, I mean, and to be fair, there's a lot still in here, and I've done a fair bit with it, just to sort of see how much I could do, and you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure that's near enough a full bag. So, you know what I mean? Absolute bargain there, guys. So, you know what I mean? If you shop around, you really get some good bargains out there. But anyway, I'll take you through the layout and I'll show you what I managed to do so far. Right, okay, guys. So, first thing, yep. Thanks for the tips on this one. I, what I did is I built a little hill so that I could just place into that gap there. And I've added the sheep just on top of there. Um, I will add a couple more bits onto that later, so stick around for that, because that'll be coming soon. And um, yeah, with the airfix guys, this is what I did with those, the World War II infantry. I've put them around here, there's like a, it's like a tiny little garrison with a hut. We've got a bit of target practice going on over here. I say I managed to paint all these you know, within a night, and I will show you videos later on how you can paint the population of your layout. Uh, another thing which I did over here was I managed to put a few walls in, in and around here, because that'll be like a picnic area. I just need to get some picnic tables in there, maybe a bit of a children's play area in that bit there, and then that bit will be done. But uh, the walls, as I say, guys, this is all my first attempt, so you know, be kind. But, yeah, they're not looking too bad there. And, um, yeah, what I managed to do with that lichen there was, uh, yeah, I've added it on. There's a bit of a fence line around my cricket green here. There's a bit more of the layout out there. And um, I've done a bit more grass along that bit there up to where my allotment's going to be. There's a bit of a garden patch going on there, some stuff going on there growing. And with the rest of the lichen, look, I managed to... Put a bit of a fence line around the village, and um, yeah, we've also added another shop onto the village here, and that's another Metcalf building, guys. And as I say, if you're building your layout on a budget, you can't go wrong with Metcalf. So, uh, yeah, we've got a corner shop in there. Yeah, I haven't put the chimneys on these yet, I will be putting them on, so don't worry about that. Good yards coming along. I've added a bit more grass along that section there. Uh, the station area is going to be over there. That's still yet to come, guys. But what I'm going to do, I've decided I'm going to get a village school in this area just here to complete this middle bit area. And then we're going to get some more shops to have like a town centre here and then maybe like a little town centre, town square here with a fountain and a few bits going on here. But yeah, that's my ideas for the minute. Anyway, guys, as you can see, there's a lot of work to still be had on that. Um, I don't know, if you're like me and you're a beginner in this, sometimes you lose a little bit of inspiration. Because um, I must admit, I do. But, you know, I don't, I'm not worried about it too much. Because, I mean, you know, something will come to me sooner or later and then I'll work on it. You know what I mean? Just the idea is just to have fun with it. And if I haven't got any ideas coming along, I'll play with the trains and try and pick up a few bargains in the meantime, you know? 
That's what it's all about. But anyway, guys, have a bagging day. Enjoy the video. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Ta-da.